Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Two Worlds 2. I'm in Game Master Darius. Last we left off, we were given a quest. This quest? To go to the den of some previous dragon slayers and uh, loot it for some scales. Turns out, though, that this is actually one of the places that I had previously po tried to pop into and be all like, hey, anything in here? That was protected by Varns. Let's see. Hello, dead guy. At least I think it was protected by Varns. Yeah, this was... Was this a Varn place? I think it might have been a Varn place. Point is, though, we're gonna go in here. <coughs> and hopefully... We'll find a buttload of things worth a damn. I think I managed to kill, like, two things in here. Oh. Proper dungeon time. What do we have in here to fight anyways? I'm hoping... Yeah, Necris! Up. It hasn't been that long since I've played this game that I don't know what the hell to do with dudes. I swear. Pick in the lock. Looting the chest. Hello. One, one dragon scale. Ah, ah, ah. So by nasty things, I guess he meant necris. Which isn't necessarily bad. It's just, you know, it's, it, ain't, it ain't dragons, yo. I guess it wouldn't terribly make too much sense to put dragons in a place where, uh... Oh, hello. A place where they, you know, dedicated their lives to dragon slaying. For all I know, I'm slaying previous dragon slayers. And no. Big room. Big room was tough. Humbling blow. What's this? That's what I like to know. I was about to say, is there any treasure chests in here? Because, I mean. It's kind of my lifeblood at the moment. Open the chest. Sir coats, leather gloves, large mana potion. Nothing too fancy schmancy so far. Not sure what kind of a place this Dragon Slayer's den was. Hang out, hide out, whatever the hell you want to call it. All I know is that there's Necris. Ow. See, if I had that, two, if I had a two-handed weapon, I would very much be using the ever-loving crap out of that uh, one skill. Okay, are these prison cells or are these bedrooms? Because um. First off, if they're bedrooms. I think it's rather mean to make it so as their doors are simply cages. Let's see. Ah, do, do dragon scales. Ah, ah, ah. I am going to be checking this place out thoroughly, by the way. A, I don't want to miss any dragon scales. B, I don't want to miss any necros. Because experience points, you see. And C. Be don't want to be missing any necklace because of equipment. Hello, sirs. Or man ums. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Made you glad you met me. Ooh, not to mention the auras. Hmm. Feel like I should be able to get up in there. Can I get up in there? He. Oh. He. Oh. Hurt. Get up in there. There we go. Was there any point to coming up in here? No. Except proving I can do it. Hey, okay, what's the map to the What's the map to this place looking like? Wait, this area has got a little bit more to it than I thought. Downstairs? Don't mind there being a downstairs, just, you know. Let's get this over with. Oh, hi. <laughs> That's rich. Wonder how much damage these guys are actually doing. Usually you don't get the opportunity to really. Hello. To check my health while I am damaged. Hello. Schmack. Ah, splitting mall. Ah, scratch my nose. Scratch my nose while lock picking. Lock picking while lock picking. Strider boots, curved falcata. Wild Barbarous Axe. All that is tempting to just use. Oh, this one has resilience plus one in it. Now it doesn't. <clears throat> Kit one by... What does that even mean? I uh, get rid of those. I mean, I'm close to level 21. I'm pretty sure after a couple of quests, I'll be able to get all that shit. Seems like none of these have any gems in it. That's a one-handed. I'm now eyeing this and going to myself, could this possibly be better than what I currently got? Because yes. Hey. No scale in that one. We've collected two so far, right? I'm going to say it was two. What? Uh, I need to keep on wondering things because I can't help but wonder them. Like, hey, I wonder how many... Okay, three scales. I wonder how the lockpicking in this actually works. Like, am I restricted based on my level like I was in the first game? Or how you would be in, say, Skyrim or Oblivion. Oh no, you're not good enough for that yet. Try me. 30 lockpicks later. Well, I guess I'm not. Seriously, more necros, please. They give me all the freaking money. Okay, yeah, this place is just big because I think I just went around to the, um... Ha. Uh, put that away, map. Did I? I think I might end up finding some stairs that lead down over to this area soon. <clears throat> Hello, random cupboard. Hello, random cupboard that is now going to be empty. 
What do we have here? What do we have here? An armor. An oculus. I really need to try out the oculuses. I just go around in a circle. Oh, wait. I think I... I think I get it. This is the exit. I think what it is, is that each of these... Chambers? Are split up into separate... Areas? That makes... That, that made sense, Dar. There's multiple other caves. Is what I'm trying to say. And these caves are... Blech, blinding. And these caves are split up... From where they are. Maybe. So it's not just the one cave that the uh, Dragon Slayer's Den is in. I think it's also this one? If not, I'm an idiot, and I'll run back and see if I can't find the other Dragon Scales. Or at the least, the pathway that leads to them. Oh, wrong way. I'm really hoping that my idea is correct. Because, first off, that would be neat. Second off, it would give more... I guess purpose to these? Looks fun. Nope. Never mind. My idea was wrong. I am wrong and I feel bad for being wrong. Give me a break though, it was a pretty neat idea. I don't know why I bothered with that altar to wisdom. All right, that either means then that the remaining drag... One second. No, that's a teleporter. All right, that either means that the remaining dragon scales, of which I need to find two more, are still somewhere within this particular area. Which, I mean... Kind of good chance of it, or... There are other passageways that lead to those other rooms. Not sure where they'd be, though. Well, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more Necris. Seriously, why are undead so freaking ex freaking uh, wealthy in this? Like, I understand being buried with your wealth, with your worldly possessions, but we're talking like thousands of gold. Thousands. A load of money. Uh... I'm gonna guess that this has something to do with magic. But also, yin yang? Running out of places to look for these treasure chests. That might have the dragon scales. Which is just leading to think leading me to think that I'm going to need to find another place with the dragon scales. Preferably with live dragons. Do I want live dragons? I'm actually giving a thinky thonk right now. It's like, do I? Not because I myself don't want to slay dragons. I, I love the idea of slaying dragons. It's more or less that the dragons in... Well, okay, they weren't... They were, but they weren't. There were wyverns in the first game. 
And uh, they kicked your ass pretty handily when you first start encountering them. I mean, oh, excuse me. It's notwithstanding, too, the the first game actually has was really, really wonky. Like, really, really wonky. Like, holy crap. Did he say three or five? All that's left is five dragon scales for Zask. I have three. But yeah, um, first game had dragons in it in the way of wyverns. I don't think they're anywhere near as big as these ones seem to maybe be. But at the same time, there were still wyverns, so... Mm -hmm. All right, nothing from that. I literally just checked over here. Where am I missing the other two scales? Hell, where am I missing some more necros? Again, my, my primary thought goes to, okay, maybe there's a way over to these areas over here. But I legit do not know. And that's what's irksome to me. Unless there's like a secret door somewhere. Already checked this one. Knock knock. Oh. No levers. No switches. I don't see any additional treasure chests. I'm quite lost. <clears throat> oh wait, unless they're in this room. This cave's design is funky. Uh, do not trap me down here. Thank you. Unless... No. Okay. Okale dokale. Quite confused. Very concerned that maybe the quest is borked somehow. Yeah, no, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Double check the treasure chest, there's nothing in it. Did physics of that chest just kill me? I'm not sure how I feel about that.
Okay. That's two deaths. Luckily, I think we've already explored the entirety of this place. Which is both a good and a bad thing. Let's go back to that chamber, I guess. Wait. No. No, damn it. It's like, where the hell will they be? Oh, for the love of... Shush. Just shush. And of course they put two in that particular one. Now there better be some sort of big nasty when I come out of this place. Not saying, just saying. You know, mini boss, something. It's kind of weird playing these uh, RPGs that are meant about, you know, random exploration, going into dungeons, getting all the loot. And for the most part, we're not really finding any bosses per se. Like, for the longest time, the biggest thing I would consider a boss, a flashbang, is the, um, scorpions that were in the... that were in the first area. Hey, it's me, Suleiman, from the Brotherhood. Hi. What do you want? Heard you're running errands for that shit-stained Zask and that you're getting him some dragon scales. Maybe. What's your interest in the matter? Well, I'd like to buy them from you. Uh, balls. What's your offer? 500 auras apiece. Uh, yeah, I like the Brotherhood. How's this going to affect if I... How's this going to affect the Brotherhood if I say no? My answer is no. Damn it. Damn him. Damn you. Listen, buddy. I need it for the main plot. I think. Besides, it's only like 2,500 for the five of them. Can't be that mad at me, man. I don't know why I was walking there for a second. Down there we are. How much random crud in my inventory? I really gotta sell it. Alright, back to Chesnadar. Oh god damn it. That's right. I keep on forgetting that Chesnadar is not exactly built all that greatly. See, watch. The... This dude will make some pretty shit equipment with the dragon scales. But if I had given it to the other dude, would have been a different story. Got my scales already? Here you go. Just as we agreed. You did great. The scales are quite big, so I may be able to make something extra for you. Damn straight. But first, I've got another job for you. I'm running a bit behind on an order for the city guard. They were supposed to receive these swords yesterday, but I'm just now finished. Mind running them over? Well, not run. The payment should be 300 auras for each, but tell them I'll drop the price to, say, 1300 for all five. Consider it done. Razor sharp gladiuses. Thirteen hundred for all five, huh? I know it seems to be uh 
Need to deliver, set active quests. I don't know, dude. Might be setting your prices a little low. But I guess he is a little late on his order, so... I guess that makes sense. Excuse me. Pardon me. Come through. Make way. Hey, I'm quite literally a cell sword. <laughs> That's the joke. Are you the dude? No. You are where I need to go. Is this the way? Wait. Oh, uh, is this where what's his face is? Yeah. Am I gonna have to talk to him? I don't wanna have to talk to him. Just screw him. Uh, let me see if there's other NPCs in here somewhere. Hello? Other NPCs? That's the way out. Clearly they gotta be up the stairs then. Wait. There are two ways in and out of this place? Might be why I'm so confused by its layout. Hi. I'm a little busy here. I have a delivery from Zask. Five swords, if I remember correctly. Where were you yesterday? Zask sends his apologies, and is off to drop the price to 1300 Fair enough. Here's your auras. But tell him that if he's late on the next order, I'll have no choice but to bring him up on charges. Charges for what? He did a little short for a city guard, aren't you? You know, they have special boots for that. Uh, keep to yourself, you smell like a chamber pot. Keep to yourself, you smell like a chamber pot. They don't let me bathe. What's your excuse? Actual hard work? I don't know. Not being in prison? Nailed it. What's this? I shouldn't try it with a guard present. As much as Exotic I wanna. Wares and weapons recovered from the Great Battle of Osmorod. Really hope that the dude in the Brotherhood is not pissed off at me. Because, you know, I was doing my job. Which apparently is supposed to get me some new stuff? I don't know. Not new stuff, necessarily, but, you know. Main quest stuff. How many chapters are in this game? Because, here's the thing. The music stopped rather ab abruptly, and it kind of threw me off. I'm still on freaking chapter one. Unless I could have not done all this stuff... I I could I could have just chosen not to do all this stuff, huh? Where am I going? Here. I'm half expecting to find this guy dead from the Brotherhood, dude. You're back, and the payment. Of Yo course. Good work. Bastards get a bit touchy when they can't play with something shiny. Here's the payment I promised. That's not all. I was able to make you a nice pair of boots from the leftover dragon scales. Just try them on. I guarantee you won't want to take them off. I'll be honest. I wasn't convinced you'd return with the money. And since it seems I can trust you to keep me both out of jail and out of poverty, I need a favor. I owe you quite a bit of gratitude. Name it. Someone I care for is planning to do something very dangerous. I've tried to help, but she's insisting on doing it alone. What are you asking, exactly? Convince her to reconsider. And if that's not an option, please, try to keep her safe. Can I count on you? 
I'll see what I can do. I'll do what I can. Thank you. You'll find her in the northeast part of Sheznadar. She lives in a small rooftop addition there. I'll find it. I got boots. Please be bitching. Dragon scale boots. Where are they? Dragon boots. Ooh. Poison resistance? Oh, they come with a drug. Okay, no, they're not innately poison resistant, but still. Increases my speed by 20% too. Holy shit. So they're less defense, but here's the thing. I can just do this. Don't know how many times I can do this. I don't know how much leather I have. Pretty sure I got quite a bit of leather. Apparently not enough. 3% from slashing. Oh man. Destroy the armor. Destroy the boots. Really hope I'm not actually breaking down some bitchin' materials. Or bitchin' materials. Bitchin' pieces of equipment. Because that would make me sad. Where the hell do I get this ceiling crystal? Increases additional attributes. Yeah, that's disgusting. Uh, 334. That was weird. Dang it. Need more leather. But at the least that puts it so as my damage from bludgeoning is reduced. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about the uh, difference in slashing damage, but the, the poison resistance is going to be nice. Not necessarily at this exact moment, but it'll be nice. It's one of those things again. It's like, you know, you have too many damage very or not damage variables, but varying types of damage. And then it's just suddenly like, man, if I prepare for this, then I'm just going to be. Get rid of that. Then I'm just going to be weighed down with certain other things, you know? You know. Anyways, <clears throat> I guess. Ooh. One skill point from all the metallurgy I done. Your point. Combined. Combining is tempting. I take the combined. Because I need to do that at some point more. Anyways, gonna go ahead, call an episode here. Thank crap it, by the way, for sa for auto saves, because I would have been just a smidgen miffed if I ended up uh, dying to box. And having to do that entire dungeon all over again. But thank you everyone so very much for watching. When we return, we're going to apparently escort a lady over to a place where she hopefully does not die. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope to see you folks in the next video. Take care. Cheers.